Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome, Dr. Ruth Orat, and a special welcome to you, Jennifer Mertz-Starr. I really applaud you because you are a breast cancer survivor, and Dr. Orat, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. I, you guys are here today in telling to talk about is chemotherapy really necessary. I've got a vast listing on it. It's across America and a little bit of abroad. And a lot of women have over the years weighed in with me that they are dealing, fighting, surviving breast cancer, and going to chemotherapy. What can you add to that conversation, Dr. Orat? Well, I think it's important to understand that there are many, many different types of breast cancer and also different stages of the disease. So women could be diagnosed with early stage breast cancer at the very beginning, and that's what we're talking about now, this morning, early stage breast cancer and decision-making about what's the best treatment for you at that point. Early stage breast cancer is the kind of cancer we find on that annual screening mammogram or at a checkup with your doctor if a small lump is felt in the breast. Once we do surgery, the decision then is, what's the next treatment? Do you need chemotherapy or hormonal therapy? And now we have results from a new clinical trial validating the use of a test called the Oncotype test. And when we use this test, we can really identify who are the women who will benefit from chemotherapy. They get a really big benefit from the chemotherapy, but it's only about a third of early stage breast cancer patients who need that treatment. Now we know that perhaps up to two thirds of women with early stage breast cancer will not need chemotherapy. That's a big change. That is a big change. If it's saying, according to my notes, is 260,000 women each year are diagnosed with breast cancer. If they don't do chemotherapy, is this where the oncologist comes in and talks about alternative treatment? Absolutely. And we like to think of this process as a shared decision-making process, the doctor and the patient together. So we talk about the information from the pathology report, as well as the results from the Oncotype test, and then put all of that together to make a recommendation. If we're not giving chemotherapy, and here we're talking only about hormone-positive breast cancer, not the other types of breast cancer, then the treatment is hormonal therapy or anti-estrogen therapy. Usually that means taking a pill, and um, we discuss that with our patients. That's the kind of treatment that women are going to stay on for five or sometimes even 10 years. Very complex disease. I want to talk with Jennifer just a moment. Jennifer, as I said, we applaud you for being a breast cancer survivor. How do you fit into this picture that Dr. Aratz is talking about? Uh, well, I was diagnosed at age 36, um, eight years ago. Um, and at that time, um, I had the um, opportunity uh, to meet Dr. Aratz. She became my doctor um, and really guided uh, my husband and I through to the decision-making process. Um, I took the Oncotype test, and um, we made the decision together for me not to do chemotherapy, uh, but to move forward with hormone therapy, which um, I did for five years. All right. You sound like I do. I love my doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oretz, that's true, Dr. Oretz. We fall in love with our doctors because you guys usually save our lives, no matter if it's a minor or a major. So you do this kind of work. You found this information. How is it impacting what you do every day? Well, the first thing I want to say is that actually my life is enhanced by my relationship with my patients. So it kind of works both ways. Um, in terms of my everyday meeting patients and making decisions with them, having 
access to a test like this has really, really made a big difference for us because we can rely on information that we know is accurate and dependable and really help us to tailor the treatment, to personalize the treatment so it's the correct treatment for that individual patient. It's made a big difference for us. Well, where can my audience go online and get some information? But before you tell me, I want my audience to know that Dr. Aris was named Physician of the Year by Cancer Care and has been recognized as one of the best doctors in America, <laughs> one of the best doctors in New York. <laughs> this is what you want from your doctors. I'm a big supporter of people who did well in school, and they turn out well in their profession, Dr. Oret. So forgive me for extolling well. all your virtues. Well, thank you for that, and I, I hope that's an inspiration to any of the young people who are listening to do their homework and move <laughs> ahead in the world. But if you want more information about um, making decisions around early-stage breast cancer, and in particular about using this Oncotype test, if it's appropriate for you, go to mybreastcancertreatment.org. And thank you so That's, much. And thank you for adding to the conversation that my audience I know is listening to very closely. And Jennifer, continue on with what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much.